Hello everybody, we're going to talk about two things today. We're going to take a look at the member browser and the IFS browser, the two very, probably the most important browsers other than the library list, I would say. The object browser and the database browser are very basic, but the member browser and the IFS browser can do a, quite a lot of stuff. So we'll talk about these in this video. We'll start with the member browser, which quite simply allows you to browse source files on the IVMI that you are connected to. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's listed by library, and then inside of that library, a bunch of source files. Now, of course, the very first thing that you do when you use um, code for IBM is add your own source files. So you can press the folder with the plus icon on it, and that just adds a source file shortcut. So for example, I want to add Barry slash QRPGLE source. And that adds Barry, and inside of that QRPGLE source, and from there, I can see all of my source code inside of that source file. Now, maybe I also want to add Barry QRPGLEREF. Very simple, it adds that too, and I can browse them all at the same time. Works just as you would expect, very simple. Now, of course, you can also do a star all. So let's say I want to find all of the sources in the library called Allen. So I can just do Allen slash star all, and then inside of that, it will give me every source member inside of the Allen library. There's a lot going on there. So it's really basic. Now what's also important is the right click options. And I'll use the Barry one for this because since I mostly use that one anyway. Now you can right click on a library and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> and then you can also right click on a source file. And from here you can remove it from the view. You can refresh it. You can also search the content of the source set of the uh, source file. So I'll just search for the word awesome and it will start and then it actually shows me the results in a new tab. From here I can click on a file and open it. I'm sorry, I actually control clicked on a file there and opened it, which is really neat. So you can search through source files. You can also create new members. So if I want to create one, I could say YouTube dot, you know, RPGLE. Oh, YouTube already exists. Okay, fine. So be it. YouTube dot um oh it's already exists so let's just do youtube dot and that will create it and open it and i'll just put something in save it there we go so i can create members right from the right click option too now that's very basic but of course there's also right click options for the actual member itself so here's my new youtube one and um let's not use that one because i see the bottom of it is being carved so we have this tutorial rpgle source here so let's close that and let's right click on this. And from here we can run action, which if you've watched any of the previous videos, you'd already know about. We can do select with compare and compare with selected. We'll talk about those in just a moment. But from here, you can also update the text, copy the member, rename the member, delete it, download it to your local machine, or you can upload a text file from your local machine to the IBMI and replace the existing one. So for example, if I want to update the text, I can press it and I can change the text to hello world and watch the text of the of the source member actually update, which is really cool. I can copy the member to a different location. So if I want to copy it and give it a new name, I can do that. So if I want, you know, tutorial two, for example, I can do that and then it will open right up, which is really cool. I can also right click and delete and rename. So I'll just delete. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes, I'm very sure. And there we go, it's gone. It's really that quick. From here, we can actually, uh, let's do the select and compare. I like to do this on my code test and code test two examples here. So I have these two source members that really aren't that similar. So maybe I shouldn't do this one, but what I will do is make a copy of this, call it code test free, make some changes to code test free. So I'll just change that to 600. I'll just say, no way. Just make some quick changes to this file. And then I'm actually able to compare the two. So if I right click on code test two and say select for compare, and then right click on code test three and compare with selected, it will actually give me a diff in VS code of the two members, which is really great if you wanna see changes between two members or, well, I mean, that's really the use case here. So that is kind of the basics of the member browser. It's very cool, very simple to use. And we'll just go ahead and close that off because now we're gonna take a look at the IFS browser. Much like the member browser, it is consisted initially of shortcuts with your home directory or your working directory as uh, your initial shortcut. You can add new shortcuts by pressing the plus button 
and we can remove shortcuts by using the minus button. So for example, if I want to add a different shortcut to a different folder like GeoTab, and I say add IFS shortcut, now it appears um, as its own directory and I can remove it again by pressing the minus button and selecting it. But nonetheless, you saw me how to add shortcuts when browsing uh, the IFS um, folders, directories. So from here, uh, you're actually able to right click on a shortcut or any directory and you know you can create a new stream file you can create a new directory you can rename or move an object you can delete an object you can search just like you did with the members you can search you can add a new shortcut or you can change the working directory or you can upload to a folder it's pretty standard so for example if i want to work with this lytics um, folder i can say add ifs shortcut that will add it here Maybe I want this to be my working directory as well. So I'll just click that working directory changed. And from here I can, you know, create a new stream file and I can call it, you know, hello world dot, you know, PHP or JavaScript or RPG even, and that will create a new file. You know, I can say, hello world. This is awesome. Or I can put whatever I want, you know, YouTube video. Yeah, I can put whatever I want. It doesn't matter, but you know, I can create files. Of course, now I could right click on it and delete it. I also have the select for compare and compare of selected options here. I could do a move or rename. So if I want to call this YouTube instead, then it will move and it will actually rename it, which is really cool. And that's pretty much the gist of uh, the IFS browser. Of course, I can download the file too straight to my local machine if I want to, but I don't want to right now. So, And that is pretty much it for the IFS browser and the member browser. And again, another short video, but a very good overview that's probably needed for some people. So, all right. Thanks very much for watching.